dumb and stupid watercolor hacks that I really wish I had known when first starting watercolor. So for today's episode of this watercolor tip series that I'm doing, um, if you have not watched the first video, I talk about watercolor palette, specifically how I set up my palette. But for this particular episode, I want to talk specifically about watercolor paint and really dive into a lot of the things that I wish I had learned before I actually started watercolor, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. It would have saved me a lot of heartache. It would have helped me to understand when things were going weird with my paints. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. So the very first tip that I want to share with you when it comes to watercolor paint that I did not realize when I first started watercolor was that when you put your watercolor paints inside of a watercolor palette, and then they dry, um, you need to wet them first. I made another video about this particular supply. I use it all the time, um, but I feel like it's such an important tip that it needs to be repeated. And I'll make sure to link that video if you wanna learn more about using a spray bottle or whatnot. It's very simple, it's very cheap. You can get the plastic ones, you can recycle them. For years I recycled, I basically cleaned out an eye cleaner one and just recycled that and then eventually um i bought a glass one with a top um but basically when you put your paints down or when you're starting out with watercolor paints that have already dried in your palette or you're using cakes um or pans of watercolors you need to make sure you wet them first and you need to let them sit and settle to be activated before you even start using them. So when I was a beginner, I would basically take my brush, wet it, and then put it immediately into the paint and basically wet the top of it and start immediately painting. And what I noticed was my colors were light and they weren't as bright or beautiful um, as what they had been when they first came out of the tube. And I was very disappointed with that. And so I kind of just thought, huh, this isn't working the way I wanted it to. I guess I'll just start using them directly from the tube. Now, I still love to use my watercolors directly from the tube. If you want to really have pigmented watercolors, in my opinion, that are very similar to watercolor concentrates, um, basically get something that has more of a deep Basically get something that has more of a deeper well to it and then put your fresh paint in it and dilute it with watercolor until it looks more of like an ink or watercolor concentrate consistency. And then you're gonna have very pigmented color right off the bat because you're not diluting your watercolor as much as you would if it was dry. That being said, you need to activate your watercolor paints before you start painting with them. And this typically, once you wet them, I usually wet them with a spray bottle. Once you wet them, it typically takes about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how solid or how hard your watercolors have dried. So certain watercolor paints, such as magnesium blue, is one that comes off the top of my head. That particular color for some reason has so much glue that's holding that pigment together um, that it takes a little bit longer to let it sit and activate compared to let's say my Scarlet Lake. That one usually takes about 30 seconds and it's ready to go. Whereas Magnesium Blue I think takes about a minute to a minute and a half before I feel like it's actually ready to go. So that's something that you need to know before you actually even start with your watercolors. Hey, future Carrie here, um, editing this video and I'm gonna stop it here. I was planning on kind of combining several tips, but after filming it and editing it, I think it will do better if I just break these down in shorter videos. I think it will be easier for y'all to find certain tips easier as I start to build this series and build this 
huge assortment of videos. It will be easier for you to go back to refer to in the future instead of making huge lump videos, make short little ones. It also makes it easier for me because for those of you who do know, um, I have been sick and I'm trying to find a balance of creating content, which I really like doing, but also not pushing myself where I get sick and then have to take a huge lump of time off. So I think this actually might be a good balance where I just sit and film for a little bit and then I break those things into shorter videos. So anyway, I hope you like this video and make sure to tune in next week. I have more paint tip videos um, coming in the future and also a really cool exploratory um, kind of video that I'm going to be doing in the future as well that I'm currently working on. So something to look forward to. Lots of love y'all, happy painting, and I will see you next time.